The bokeh panorama is a way to make your subject pop in your photo. It gives a really interesting 3D effect. The subject is going to look really sharp while your background is going to have a really strong bokeh, a bokeh that you can't have with a normal lens. So it's going to be really interesting to use with long focal length lenses and really wide aperture lenses. You're going to place your subject far from the background and with your camera, you're going to move slightly up and down and on the side to have several images that you will combine and stitch together to have a huge image with a lot of depth of field. And I was thinking maybe it would work also for wildlife photography. But you need to have an animal that don't move while you do your several pics. Here are some examples of what the technique can give. As you can see, the bokeh behind the subject is really strong and the quality of the image is crazy. You can zoom in it and have a really strong definition. For me, the best solution to try this technique is to go to the zoo. It's cheap, not far from your place, and you can go really close to the animals. You don't need a huge tele lens. You just need a 200 mm lens. You can use long lenses with wide aperture, like the Jupiter 21M that I reviewed earlier. So now all your images are opened in Photoshop and you're going to have between five or 10 images. You need now to merge all your images into one big giant image. So you're going to go to File, Automate and Photo Merge. And because your files are already open in Photoshop, you just add, have to click on the Add open files. So now you have all your files. So you just have to click on blend images together and click OK. All the photos are merged into one huge image. So you can basically close all the other images and just keep the huge one. So as you can see, you have a huge image with some so really small missing parts here. As you can see, the different parts of the image are all merged together and the computer just recreated a massive image using the data from all the small images. So because it's a huge image, it's better to start by cropping inside your photo. So you, your computer don't go totally crazy with the calculations. You, you still need to fix this small holes in the image. So the best way is to first click on command alt shift and E to create a new layer with all the parts blended together. Put all the other layers inside a file. So now we're going to create a new layer. We are going to fill the hole in the image by using a really simple technique. We are going to select so with the magic wand, we're going to select the holes in the image. We're going to select, modify, expand, and we're going to put like six pixels. And now we are going to go to fill, make sure that the content aware is clicked and OK. And it's going to fill with everything with the data of what is around the hole. So you don't even have to think too much, just let the computer think for you. So you, you do it again, expand, six pixels, fill, content aware, and it's filling the void of your image. If you have some small errors, you can still use the healing tool. So same for here. Select. Modify, expand. Six pixels. Edit, fill, content aware. It works pretty well. And for the group, select, modify expand maybe 10 pixels okay fill okay and it will maybe be a little bit less clean so you have to add more texture by using the stem tool 
like there is a small problem here but you can use all the patch tool and just duplicate some texture you like and you have your image now you don't need to keep the image so huge so maybe you can still crop in the image to get the most interesting part the lioness of course so you, you try to put the the aspect ratio on a part that you want to bring interest to so maybe the face of the lion and you click ok ok so now you have your image your final image you can still add some color correction to your image and now we are going to add some color correction layers so you're going to to add a selective color adjustment go to the neutral colors and add some little bit less of cyan a little bit less of yellow and a little bit more of magenta and if you want to work on the yellows you can still work colors by colors so maybe a little bit less of yellow in the yellow a little bit more of magenta everything needs to look natural and so you just need to make some really small color adjustment curve layer less red and also less green so you just pull back a little bit because you have too much green in the shadows and maybe a little bit more blue to your image but not in the highlights and finally you can crush the blacks a little bit by going down and taking your image a little bit and moving your cursor a little bit up so it, it's not a lot but when you look at the before and after you can see that the lion fur looks more deep and there you have it your huge image with your subject and still a really interesting bokeh in the background and as you can see we can zoom in the image and have a really high definition so don't forget to subscribe to get more tutorials for crazy effects in photoshop's weird lens reviews and weird experiments thank you